but basically basically um so actually i might as well go through uh, all of the tracks one by one uh while i talk about while i shiny hunt here so oh i get it first because i waste my time collecting pokemon oh, okay fair enough anyways so a uh, first uh lost from reality um I'm, I'm gonna go through all the albums one by one by the way oh dang um so uh first up uh sing into reality uh, that's the album name, but then you have Lost From Reality, which is the first song, uh, and uh, this is basically the introduction to the killer's story. This is the internet. This he, He's just stuck in the internet right now. He's like going a little crazy yeah. at the moment. Fatal Mistake is where it's like, oh, I gotta hide. I can't stay here for too long, but I gotta hide at some point, because otherwise some people are gonna catch me. And then uh, Call Through the Night. Uh, oh, by the way, I should... Uh, uh, say this right now fatal mistake is uh the meta runner song meta runner song and then call i remember you i remember you saying that the song almost didn't happen and the remake also almost didn't happen yeah i was I gonna say yeah yeah well you watched that <laughs> wow that's fun but yeah they almost didn't happen because like i remember i was making the song i was like um i put out a preview and i made the haha fatal mistake of putting out the song preview hey. and uh <laughs> Uh, announcing a song before I was even finished with it. And I was like, oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Like, it was like, yeah, I'm gonna make this. And then, a, and then like, it's like, oh, God, like, oh no. Oh, no. What have I done? This isn't good. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, <laughs> Fatal Mistake is like, oh, God, I gotta hide. And then Call Through the Night, which is a Mario the Music Box uh, Delirium song. Uh, that's, yes. uh, it's like, I'm again, I'm going a little cray-cray, but now my mind is definitely a mess. Um, and then some people, call some people, night? yeah, call to the night. That is a Mario the Music Box Delirium track. And you said it was a mess. I, I thought that was, I thought that was a good song. No, 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 no. I mean, in the story, in the story, it's a mess in the head. Oh, the the store. Okay, that that makes more sense. Yeah, Eternal Stare is uh, where uh, our little protagonist is uh, taken by the council crew and into the, um, well. The mental institute like i guess for human experimentation uh and then uh, uh, bring me your vessel is that, where that song was uh yeah and then uh, and in the eternal stare was that like was for was was for that sequel to doki doki Liberger club yep project that's Libertina, yep that's pro that yep that's project libertina that's the project libertina yes. song yeah and by the way fuck it we're gonna go up and like later um but yeah uh, <laughs> uh eternal stare uh after that is um what is it uh well Bring in the middle Russell, my yeah. favorite yeah, of the album I think, yeah but before actually. that but before that uh like that's that's where i come across uh our little protagonist from the third album but we'll get into that in a bit um okay. bring me your vessel that is the that is uh the killer's rampage there and yes. uh so where he, like where he and then feel my heart was like feel the my aftermath heart is... of when he kills his friend yeah or their friend, yeah. Well, his. It's definitely his. his. Oh, it's a his now. Yeah, no, the killer is a his, but the, the killer. Oh, this is so confusing. Uh huh. I know, right? But uh, you'll understand why in a bit. But yeah, anyways, I mourn. I mourn the death of uh, the friend uh, here, and uh, yeah, and then I have two choices uh, to to have. Like either I keep going on my rampage. Or I try and find the way out, and, uh, and join the deceased. Join the, join the deceased. The shittiest track on the album, by the way, uh, is where I Wh keep going. What? With, <laughs> where I keep going uh, with uh, the rampage, and uh, yeah, pretty much everything's under uh, mind control. Uh, but technically, it's the internet's control. However, I li I like join the deceased. Yeah. Anyways, we'll make it out together. Is the uh, alternative song. And uh, that is where, and by the way, Join the Deceased, that would have been the end of the album if I hadn't made the alternative route of We'll Make It Out would Together. Have been a, would have been a really depressing ending. Yeah, I know, right? But <laughs> We'll Make It Out Together, that is where um, it's like, I'll calm myself down uh, and I calmly try and find the way out. And eventually I do. But I take one last, I take one last look at the internet and what it's done. And... Um, hmm. I have some conflicting thoughts. Very conflicting thoughts. So, yeah. yeah. And then, let's see. 
that's the end so of... wait hang on hmm? so is is these trilogy of albums based on like a true story no I, it's a fictional oh, okay. story that i made oh okay i wish i can hear the entire explanation oh geez anyways next <laughs> is the second coming so the nice. second coming uh this is where um okay so tool with no purpose that is where i make it outside of the internet realm and uh properly mourn my friend so well i'm back how are we uh we're doing pretty well i'm just discussing uh the story behind the three albums i made uh just in the sick lore of the album a bald nagito hello sylveon chan how you doing uh anyways uh, oh, by the way, Sylveon Chan, you are unmuted and uh, un unmuted. You are unwarned now. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, yes, a uh, Danganronpa song. Uh, so, Tool with No Purpose is a Danganronpa song. So, but anyways, Tool with No Purpose. That is where I properly mourn my dead friend, uh, and uh, total despair is actually where we take a little step back into sink into reality, and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. Total Despair is like one of my favorites off the album. Oh yeah, that's definitely one of my favorites too. Uh, directed to me is uh, also uh, a Danganronpa song, uh, but it's still in sync into reality technically. But um, <laughs> there's a lot uh, of Danganronpa songs. Yeah, I have a lot of Danganronpa songs. There's eight in total, <laughs> out of, like in the eight, trilogy. Wow. But anyways, um, so that's done. Uh, coward is uh, I think we go back into uh, the present time so coward is where uh, I'm a little nervous of the future obviously I think everyone gets nervous of the future because it's super uncertain right? Coward's like one of my favorites too yeah. I am it's like for coward, reasons I don't really want to like influence get into power. Keeps you know. making me cower in fear. You're coming near. I am a cow. That's a. I think that's a very catchy uh, uh like thing. It is. So. It is. Uh, yeah. Anyways, next is Locked Rampage, one of my favorite songs I've made. Um, oh, this one's good too. Yeah, but uh, basically that's like. This is where like actually I go. We go into my head, and uh, basically it's like tell myself like there's a there's an alter ego in in my head right now so it's like hey you're being really boring right now so you better you better like you gotta like god <sighs> being boring eh yeah i know it, it's, oh yeah it, it's, oh it, right that song was an Izuru song yeah it's oh no duh anyways so that's done <laughs> um so Obviously, the alter ego in my head is ridiculing me uh, that I'm being scared of the future and it's like super boring to watch. And then I retaliate a little too hard. So that's where Listen Motherfucker is born. And uh, I still love that title. Yeah. I think it's a very unique title, honestly. It, yeah, it is. And it's for, it's for a Shadow song, too. Yeah, it's Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, fun fact, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog swears in his own game. So that's fun. He does. Yeah. It's still a little weird and still a little... Yeah. No Where are those damn first. Chaos Emeralds? Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Yeah, anyways. So, <laughs> so anyways, Listen Motherfucker is uh, like basically where I retaliate against the alter ego in my head. But it's like, oh, hey, look at that. Uh, how about this? We have to make oh, a what? deal here. So, like... And then eventually we make that deal. So I make my second coming. Uh, it's like, I'm going to face the world head on now. So, yeah, that's fun. Uh, but, I'm sure that'll go well. Yeah, but obviously, uh, Lone Ant is where I still have a little bit of doubt in myself. Like, I did say that I was going to have a little doubt in myself. Like, or not doubt. I did say I was going to take the world on, like, like, like a battering ram. Uh, but uh, Lone Ant, it, it exists because, like, I'm still a little nervous. But screaming loud for you is, hey, there's hope in the future. You don't have to just look at the despair. Haha. <laughs> uh, but I <laughs> yeah. And that's the last that's the last track of the story. And then I put well, well, hold on. You're you're forgetting one other. I know. Other I know. Track. I know. I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. Drakefish Drakovish is a bonus <laughs> track. <laughs> that I was just said, hey, I'll put in there for the lulls. So, 
yeah that's pretty much that yeah, so anyways <laughs> anyways so now that that's done let's go back into uh the third album here i'm gonna Every just time. talk about these songs again uh or actually pretty much just discussed about it again but you know what let's do it again just because because i like rambling uh do it again so this is rem- reminder this is before sink into reality uh so anyways so first the clock ticks uh we we watch as our little protagonist has gone through so much pain in the past uh to the point where you know we have to we just watch you know we just watch we can't do yeah. anything he, he like like they just follow their own story you know and they obviously did like some things to try and uh combat the 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 depression but like you know shady personnel the dumbass pedophile which by the way that that song there it expresses my deep hatred of pedophiles and manipulators yeah. oh they those they suck yeah uh unveil the storm is where uh originally like you like they wanted to go outside and for a moment it's a little peaceful but then the calm before the storm ends both literally and metaphorically so that's fun uh they go back inside and then fall into the thorns is where like their dog dies uh and uh, they mourn over that that the dog so that's fun um not really uh anyways <laughs> uh welcoming welcome to the internet that's where they try going inside the uh that's where they try going into uh the internet but the computer sucks them in so yeah how does fun. that happen a, a movie magic to explain that right <laughs> anyways <laughs> But look, it's it's just it's just plot armor, okay? It's just for the plot. Plot. It's just for the plot. Don't don't, don't question it. I hate the pedos that apologize. I hate them too. Uh, anyways. Yes. Anyway, so welcome to the internet. That's where um, the internet, the entire internet, is now aware of the presence of our little protagonist here, to the point where the cancel crew uh, brings it up to the um, the internet itself. So. Yeah. Uh, you'll find out who the internet is uh, at some point. You'll find out the like the internet is a person. Uh, not exactly, but like, picture it this way: there's gonna be like specific text colors. You'll know who is the internet, who is the. Uh, oh, in the lyric videos, you mean? Yeah, y'all, y'all know who who they are. Okay, so. that makes sense. So, anyways, next fake nature that's where the cancel crew comes in and captures our little protagonist and ridicules them for uh like making uh mistakes that could have possibly made their uh depression uh, triggered a little uh but yeah that's fun anyways um next up uh mobile blade and that's uh this is after uh like they were taken to the um uh, mental institute and they tried to escape and then they run into the killer and then they're a little scared, you know. You don't, mm-hmm. you don't, you don't, you don't like being scared. Uh, but anyways, so Not the killer tries to comfort our little protagonist, uh, but then, uh, you know. <laughs> so mobile blade. So mobile yeah. blade. That is the killer's reassurance song. Digital executioner is the killer's rampage song and this is like a this is like uh Sounds what familiar. personally this is what i feel like uh a bring me your vessel should have been you're not a big fan of bring me your vessel i mean i'm all right with the instrumental it's just like uh the eq or more rather the eq was fine it's just the i could have given the vocals a little more uh justice uh the original the original the non-sync into reality version was uh it was a little meh. It was a little meh. It was a little better on. Yeah. Act. It was a little better on sync into reality, but still not as much. But mm-hmm. digital executioner. That's what uh, bring me a vessel would be like if it wasn't for the catchy stuff. So, so digital executioner is just the rampage. Go on then. And this is where uh, the killer is actually taken over by the internet. Oh. So he's taken over by the internet. He's killing everything, and uh, I think you know what happens next. Uh, that's where that's when sink into reality uh, goes into then. Yeah, 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 technically that's where that's where it leads into feel my heart, 
but gravesite is uh, basically the uh, afterlife, like what our little protagonist thinks. So, so, so are the like albums like listened to in order, or like the songs like to be rearranged in a different way? The songs are in like, a, the songs are in a specific order, so you understand the story. Okay, well, I, what I'm trying, what I like mean is in so like for like certain song like, like say like digital executioner, does that like, would that like come before or after bring me your vessel, or is that like oh, in its own oh, canon? oh, that technically I mean. that technically uh, okay. Here's the thing, technically, um, how about this? Okay, so if I were to arrange it, um, oh god, this is gonna be fun. How about this? I'm gonna put it in <laughs> a graveyard of the internet. So if I were to do this right now, then I would put, um, let's see here, I would put uh, all these in order: the clock ticks, uh, trilogy order. So the clock ticks is first. Shady Personnel is up next. Um, Unveil the Storm is third. Uh, fourth. Fall into the thorns. Uh, five. Lost from reality. Uh, six. Um, fatal mistake. Seven. Call through the night. Eight, eternal stare. Nine, total despair. Uh, ten, directed to me. Eleven, um, hold up. Actually, I think I messed up the order. Hmm. Oh, no. Hang on, I got it. I got it. I got That's it. That's actually fine. pretty cool. Like each like album like listen to is so each each album like is meant to like kind of like fill in like like a puzzle piece yeah. in like the order. If I were to put of, it in like, this order, come. if I were to put it in an order, let's see Eternal Stare and Welcome to the Internet. There we go. Uh, I think Welcome to the Internet is right there. So, oh actually, no it's not. Okay, hang on. So, welcome to the internet would be right here. I think here would actually be uh, fake nature. Okay, then comes eternal stare. Um, and then, let's see. Bring me your... Wait, hold up. No, it's, that's not it. Uh, hmm. Okay, so that's that. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think here. This is confusing, but I think I'm kind of understanding. I think you can get it. Hold up. So up next, direct it to me. So this is uh, okay. All right. So let me see here. Mobile blade. Uh, then here, bring me your vessel. Fifteen is digital executioner. Sixteen is feel my heart. Feel me heart. Well, okay. Feel um, me heart. <laughs> feel uh, me heart. <laughs> Seventeen is join the deceased. Eighteen is will make it out together. And uh, nineteen is uh, sink into reality. And twenty is tool with no purpose. Twenty-one is um. Hang on. Howard. 22 is locked rampage. I think I think you guys know the order at this point. So yep. 23. So then, 23 then like basically is, the rest of the like the canology, the 
canon of the trilogy is the sing into the rest of the sing into reality album basically uh, the rest of the second coming album yes feel me heart feel me heart uh, hmm. <laughs> so my second coming next up is the lone ant and 26 is uh screaming loud for you Okay, now if I remember correctly, um, this then so break that's break nine break songs. Break so that's nine songs. So if we go here, um, that's also nine songs. And then, wow, every single hmm. Every album has a, a, a total of nine songs besides the second coming. Okay, whoa, actually, hold up. I just realized I missed something here. I just realized I completely missed something. Okay. Missed, after uh, after listen. after this is gravesite. Okay, there we go. So then this we would move it up. We move up the order by one. There we go. So every song has nine uh, songs. Every album has nine songs. Yes. If and like, that's, if we don't include if we don't include the uh, bonus track uh, in second coming. Yeah, that's the order I would put it in. That is the order I would put it in. So, 27 songs in total, if my math is correct. Yes. <laughs> I just did the math, though. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, if you want to take a look at the uh, order of it again, then it's going to be in Graveyard of the Internet. Uh, Progress, I think it's called. Fuck. I forgot what the channel Progress, name is yeah, called. I think. It's the Progress channel, basically. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, graveyard. Yeah, it's, it quite literally is called graveyard of the internet progress. Mm. Hmm. My God, I'm so excited for it to release. Uh, in eleven yeah. hours now, actually. Yeah. Eleven hours. Insane. You know that? Actually, that is good. fucking I'm insane. Really, I'm really excited too. My God. So, did you, have you, um, okay, so for everyone in the chat, for everyone in the YouTube and uh, Discord chat, uh, I don't know if you could piece the, pe uh, put the pieces together in like one puzzle, um, but I don't know if you noticed, uh, um, and uh, Zeddy, I don't know if you noticed in particular, but uh, noticed that I used uh, first person in sync into reality mm -hmm. uh, when describing the killer. Uh, as well yes. as the second coming. And notice I use third person when describing the killer in Graveyard of the Internet. Oh. I see. Can you put the can you put it all together now? Give me a moment. I, I, just give me a moment. I'll, I'll figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows yet. Let's see if Hat in the Box gets it. The killer is the protagonist, or it's like the person we follow in the albums. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, so, all right. Here's the thing. Uh, I describe the killer in first person. Uh, in Sink into Reality and The Second Coming. In Graveyard of the Internet, I refer to the killer as third person. So okay, so can anyone so make graveyard graveyard uh graveyard of the internet is a uh is like a story that like uh someone is telling, uh and think like that isn't like in anyone's perspective like a narrator, it's like a narrator and the the other albums are told by the by the protagonist of the albums. Yeah, but my question to you is. Who is the protagonist of the first two albums? Chronologically or in release date? In release, in release. The, the killer, right? Yeah, the killer. Oh. Who is the killer? You. Yes, you're correct. So you're a murderer. Pretty much. 
Yo, I was guessing that. (laughs) So, yes, it's out there. I'm the killer in the uh, album trilogy. You monster. Yeah, but let's be real. It's not entirely my fault because the internet is a horrible place. Uh, Yeah, and really, uh, logically, anyone trapped in the internet would go and stay in by, like, the first day. Yeah, especially if you don't know how to live yourself. Like, god damn. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, again, it's out there, but I'm the killer. Have you actually killed in real life? No, I haven't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, hey, it's fine because it's all fiction. That is true. So you I'm getting away with a lot of stuff in fiction. Yeah. Your uh huh keep going it's real fiction oh my god your uh huh crick <laughs> your, your wait, what check where you got a ping oh no uh oh but my god dude i i didn't i don't think anyone uh was able to like I, I guided the I guided the uh, pieces around like in the direction I put the pieces like there, but you just had to put it together. I always thought like the uh, I always thought like the uh, albums were just like someone else's story, someone's story that like you were telling through the albums, not specifically your own. Yeah, but here it's different. This time I am the killer here. I am one of the mm. protagonists. If anything, I'm sort of like Very an if anything, I'm sort of like an anti-hero at this point. Cause yeah, I'm mad. Like, I'm I am still mad like that you're I you're the uh, you're the main character, but like yeah. you're like a hero, but you're also like you don't act like a hero. Yeah, something like that. I I do it for my own benefit. <laughs> Basically, but I got the answer right. The question, the question, Kendo, it was. Who is the killer of the Institute? And and the big hint is, and the big hint was that, notice that I uh, referred to the killer of the Institute as a first person uh, in Sink Into Reality and The Second Coming, and in Graveyard of the Internet, I refer to him as um, third person. Oh, before you, sense. before nope. you said, I was guessing the question. I was thinking you. Ah, well, that's fun. Ah. Uh. Well, you you would have been correct, and you wouldn't have known the question at all. <laughs> <laughs> so I am big brain, indeed. Big brain. Here's everything that happened in this case. But basically, yeah. Oh my god. I cannot believe this. This might be a highlight by itself. This might be a highlight by itself.